we are looking forward our way. We're in quote-unquote Studio C in the 511 studios. Actually, we're recording virtually because we've got some uh, sub-zero temperature going on, and we thought we would do this episode from the warmth of our own homes. Uh, Carol and I want to wish you a wonderful new year, and hopefully you had some uh, you had great holidays as well. Thanks, Brett, and thanks to everybody who's listening. You know, Brett, we had an incredible year creating new and really interesting episodes for Looking Forward Our Way podcast. Um, I thought it would be kind of fun to do a little bit of a review of what we heard from our experts uh, this past year. I always have to talk about Thea Ewing, who is um, from the Mid-Ohio Regional Planning Commission. She always has the most interesting details about transportation and listens to my complaints about what's going on in in the central Ohio area and where the orange barrels are um, at the moment. And of course, she always lets me know that, yes, we're going to get passenger trains, but it's going to be a while before I can get to Chicago. Exactly. You know, I think Lorraine Schrader, she brings some incredibly important information to our listeners, parental debt or why wills and estates are so important. Uh, in fact, we've had her on so many times. We've created a collection of those episodes and we share occasionally too, but Lorraine does a great job of uh, demystifying what that is all about in regards to making it very easy to understand what you should or shouldn't have uh, to protect what you've built up over time. Right. You know, too, looking forward, our way is really concerned about the issues of older adults in central Ohio. So we did several programs regarding aging services. Anna Tobin gave us a tour of her new facility in Fairfield County for the Meals on Wheels program. Uh, Lisa Stockdale talked to us uh, from her podcast, Aging in Full Bloom. Josh Kinzel comes in every year. Josh is with Seniority Benefit Group, gives us tips on Medicare and the changes that are happening with those programs. We also worked with the Encore Ohio organization who had an incredible webinar on senior housing programs, but also legal ramifications for communities. You know, what is exactly involved in terms of the governmental responsibility for having senior housing and affordable housing. Our friend Cindy Farson, who had just retired as the director of the Central Ohio Area Agency on Aging, gave us an amazing overview of the history of senior services in the United States, as well as for here in, in our own state. And then the new director, Katie White, gave us more information on what's going on and what to expect from the senior services programs for 2023. And then my favorite, one of my favorites, uh, but we dove into media issues, which that's my background, but love talking about social media, news, and particularly the issues of political reporting. A big thanks to Rodney Dunnigan from Channel 6 popping in with a camera crew, which we didn't even know was going to happen. Uh, Bonnie Rutledge from the Harrison County News Herald. And Mike Thompson, news director from WOSU. That was a, a just fantastic conversation with all of three of those folks. Um They all provided us with incredible insights into difficulties of not only reporting news, but finding and providing truth. And of course, you know, my favorite topic is getting people jobs and getting folks employed. So we always have our friend Sharon Hammersley come in and talk about issues on job searching. She talked about age proofing your resume. That's so important for those of us who are um, into another career. And also she is, we just posted a program from her on what to expect in job searching in the new year. Yeah, we also brought in experts to discuss the issues of Ohio businesses. That included the Tri-Village Chamber Partnership, also our friend Kelly Fuller from the Columbus Chamber, as well as Steve Stivers, president of the Ohio Chamber. Our friend Darlene Zabel discussed business strategies, and Peggy Tidwell from Park National Bank provided guidance on business financial strategies. And we featured several local businesses, Ava Edmund from Ava's Jewelers in Lancaster, and Kathleen Carmody from Senior Matters Home Healthcare. And we featured some special topics too. Um, Nice Guy Technology Team always brings in great information for our personal and business 
technology use. Judge Mary K. Ryan Fenlon discussed her encore career, which was fun to really dive into. Mandy Morkel helped us save some money through easy couponing programs. Tammy Wharton, CEO of Girl Scouts of Ohio's Heartland, discussed the need for STEM programs for young women. Franklin County Auditor Mike Stenziano and Katie White, again, from COAAA, discussed a study they published focusing on the struggles of older citizens paying for their property taxes, as well as the costs of housing. And my wife and I, we did an episode uh, on empty nesting, which was cathartic at times, but, it, <laughs> but um, <laughs> you know, it's the stages of us growing and uh, all of us are going to, you know, feel that empty nest of some kind or that emptiness of losing someone or losing something in life. And, and there are uh, stages you have to go through, whether it's empty nesting or losing someone in your in your personal life, whether they move away or they pass away. That was great fun because I got to grill you and Angie, so that was that was wonderful. And um, and over the past few years, we have had so much loss. It was cathartic to talk about how we're dealing with those changes in our lives. You know, there were two programs that I am so proud of that we did this year, and I really want to highlight them. The first was a joint program between uh, Jamie Phillips from New Directions Career Center and Malka Bendor from Jewish Family Services. Both of those nonprofit agencies in central Ohio have incredible resources for job seekers. We went over what happened when the pandemic hit. How do you help somebody find a job when you can't even talk to them one-on-one and and go through the counseling process? What they did to change their programs, the success they had, a few things that didn't quite work, but how those changes to programs have added to their programs now. We're past the pandemic, but so many of the resources are still really viable. So many of the new technologies are so viable. So that was an incredible podcast. And we I really want to thank both Jamie and Malka for that uh, their time and, and their effort. The second program was really an emotional roller coaster. Dr. Dana Robinson Street is a doctorate prepared nurse practitioner with Ohio Health Urgent Care and Telehealth Clinic. Dr. Street's 25 year military career, she retired as a Navy lieutenant, provided us with incredible insight into the issues of female military members and veterans. Dr. Street continues to serve not only her current patients, but those veterans who are in need. That was a wonderful program we had in November, really highlighting the issues of female members of the military and veterans. So I really think we had a great year of programs kind of all over the place, but they it was good information for everybody. As our name states, we need to look forward our way. So in the coming year, uh, a couple of things are going to happen. Carol and I are going through a a strategic plan of our own in regards to making sure that we are on topic for what we want to accomplish with the podcast. But some of that also needs, we need some help from you as our listener. And we're going to be sending out a survey in the next week or so uh, through our email newsletter. We'll put a link in this podcast as well, too, but um, it'll be going directly to our listeners who have signed up for our newsletter. But we want some feedback from you. What have we done well? What do we need to do? What would you like to hear more of? Uh, because we take all input seriously, because uh, we do want to make this podcast something that you can't wait for every episode. You know, the, so, so we're hitting home runs for you every time. Um, and the best way to do that is to get some feedback from you. So we thought we'd officially put a, a newsletter um, together specifically with a, uh, a link to that survey that shouldn't take more than as long as you want, obviously, but it's, it's designed to be done in five minutes or so. I think what we're really trying to find out is, are, are we hitting our niche? Are, you know, people are listening. We want to know if what's been good and bad. What were their favorites? What topics are they most interested in? We're, we're really the first podcast in Central Ohio to focus on 50 plus. And we just want to make sure we're really hitting that focus. And the big incentive, you know, we don't necessarily want to pay you to do this survey, but if you do, uh, we'll put your hat and name for a $50 gift card to Amazon. Um, that's, that's 
we value your input and, and we want to make sure that, you know, we value your time uh, to filling it out. So, you know, we'll give you a chance at a $50 gift card for, for Amazon. If you didn't get something for Christmas, you know, this could be the thing you get for yourself uh, yeah. through Amazon. So, yeah, do it that way. Everybody gets one chance putting their name in a hat and um, for filling out the survey. So we appreciate your help. Exactly. Uh, it's important for us to get the feedback from you. So we're, we're again, as we've been saying, we're going to stay on track with what we do with the podcast. But we really appreciate all of our listeners, all the feedback we've gotten this year already from listeners and our guests. Our main thing is that we bring the best guests possible to, you know, to highlight and spotlight what we want to get accomplished with that episode content is to bring you the most concise information and, and, and something to think about as well, too. Like conversation starters that we hope that you'll you know want to pass along each episode going, hey, you need to listen to this episode. They talked about transportation in this or wills and estates and such. Um, it, it, we want to make shareable content and we hope for, we are doing that for you and, and making it easy to share with other people that should be and can be interested in what we're talking about on the podcast. Thanks so much, everyone, for listening to Looking Forward Our Way, and we hope to connect with you in 2023.